just to give you a, a little bit of flavor of what the man was like, and I thought of an example of how he treated us, for those of us who were in his contest. It might be a good story to tell you briefly. When I was invited to in, in be in the uh, first and second Dukes, I was in California going to school, and when I arrived at the airport, there was a couple of us on the flight actually to be in the contest, and the, the plane stopped in the middle of the tarmac. And we didn't know what quite to expect. The doors opened, we walked down the steps, and there was Duke Tahanamoko waiting for us with open arms and with lays, and he put a lay over each one of us and said, Welcome to the islands. And he shook my hand, and I'll tell you, it felt like a size 14 hand. <laughs> it felt like a baseball you know, glove. And my tiny little hand, you can imagine, and I looked up at Duke, and his heart was as big as his hand. That's raising money for children. That was Mike's life. Mike's life was all about children and Ohana. Pokulea, which brings people all together from all over the world. Canoeing is not just a canoe. It's a vessel. A vessel that brings people, Ohana, and everyone together. And the world's going to know about that when Hokulea goes around the world. My Hollywood family, all my, my stunt buddies and my stunt friends. Uh, they all up here and stuff, you know. I get all my not sure friends. We're the not sure guys. All the east side boys and girls. South side. Right? And west side. Okay, quiet down west side. Um, you know, so growing up, you know, from Waianae and stuff, you, you're always thinking you're in this box and barriers, you know, and then, you know, finding out with, with dad, with, you know, everyone who would walk on our sand in our beach, everyone who would swim in our ocean became part of our family. Regardless whether you came from Japan, New Zealand, Australia, you would be inducted into our family. And that would be a lifelong family friendship and you establish traditions along the way with our family. So we have a big Makaha family. Everyone who comes to Makaha becomes part of our family. And everybody knows that, you know. Because it is truly something that everybody from Hawaii is proud of. And, you know, um, as the late Reverend Abraham Akaka said in 1968 at Kahanamoku's funeral in Waikiki, Duke Kahanamoku represented the Ali, the nobility in the highest and trusted sense, concern for others, humidity, in victory, courage, in adversity, good sportsmanship in defeat. When I look at Waikiki today, there's no competition out there. There's just everybody loving and enjoying the ocean. And that's the legacy that Duke left for all of us. <laughs>